All story, no filler, hard mode, chapter two. Let's get into it. All right, chapter two has one main boss. That is the Midgard Sormer. And uh, we're going to set up our characters and their build first before we begin anything in chapter two. Because it's uh, mostly probably a short chapter, I think. Uh, especially when you're doing a replay on hard mode. You just kind of, you can quick travel where you need to go, but... Anyways, we'll set this up and I'll show you what the character builds are. All right, first up is Cloud. He's going to be using his Igneous Saber again, the Cetrin Armlet, and the Full Throttle Wrist Guards. For Materia, he's got HP up, MP up, Auto Unique Ability, Auto Weapon Ability. Those two I have equipped because Barrett's going to be our main character that we're controlling and Cloud's going to be doing his own thing. Then next, we have the Steadfast Block, Precision Defense, Focus Materia, and Odin as uh, his summon. Next up, we have Magnify Materia for time, so he can cast Haste on the whole party. Uh, healing Ice, because the snake, the Midgar Swarmer, is weak to ice, I believe. Strength up, First Strike Materia, Chakra, and Enemy Skill just for the boost. Like the use enemy skills, increase HP, MP, Strength, and Magic. Oh, and then uh, we got Altruistic Buff, so to increase the time of that Haste. Max Health up 200. Stalwart Punisher to increase defense while in Punisher mode and limit gauge stagger. All right, our next party member is Barret. And he's gonna be rocking Battle Cry as his weapon, the Enhanced Varvados bracelet. I don't know if I pronounced that right. And the Fortitude Ring uh, for Materia. He also has HP up, MP up, Steadfast Block, Precision Defense Focus Materia, ATB Assist Materia, and ATB Stagger Materia with Alexander as his summon. And then we got Elemental for Fire and Ice, Healing, Revival, and Skill Master Materia. With overload overcharge, ATB charge rate up, uh, weapon ability, ATB recovery, and massive recharge. And finally, for this fight, we are also going to be using Aerith. She's going to be using the Plum Mose. Plumose? Plumose Rod? I don't know how to pronounce these. The Cetra Embracer and the Circlet. For Materia, she's going to have HP up and MP up as well. Those are probably going to be on every class build. Okay, next she has Speed Up Materia, Vitality Up, Revival Material, Cleansing Materia, and her summon is Bahamut. Next up, she has Elemental with Fire, since Midgar Sommer uses Fire a lot, so this is going to hopefully reduce the damage that she takes. Ma magic Efficiency Materia with the healing so she can heal more and use less mp uh, magic focus materia with ice so that's what the Mid midgar sommer is weak to and then finally prayer and synergy support materia finally she has max hp plus 200 enduring ward ward shift mastery and enhanced tempest so anyways that is it for how we are building our characters for chapter two mainly focusing on the Mid midgar sommer chapter two This is like one of the coziest little towns. What's this? A gift that I can think of in like any video game. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's ah, this is blood? the Queen's Blood starter set. Probably won't have to play any of that for these videos, but if you do end up getting the game and aren't just watching the story. It is quite an enjoyable card game. Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Good morning, sir. I must apologize for not introducing up, myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett I left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Woohoo! Vacation! Sound advice. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, arms dealer. Do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. Oh yeah, those are also another way of over, but the first leveling up your character. Built here in Calm, and their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. Woohoo! I don't think I have to pay for that at all, though. Now that I'm thinking about it. Finally. All right. All my friends left. Rough day yesterday, huh? <gasps> Tifa. You've been waiting for me. I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. 
was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Just want to pet him. Who's a good boy? Yes, he's a good boy. Oh, uh, if you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. Equipment being just a collar? <laughs> well, I guess he's got, he's got bracelets, too. All right. So when you're normally playing through this, you can want to build your relationships as well with like Tifa here, Aerith, and all that jazz. But we are doing all story, no filler. So we're running. Look at this beautiful town. Oh, how's the volume, by the way? Are we good? Uh huh. Finally oh, decided Earth. to get up. Yeah. So what you been doing? Why waiting for you, of course. You have? Oh, silly boy. Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? It's a date. Sure, let's. Sure. Oh yeah, on your replay, let's. it tells you awesome. what your choice was on your first playthrough Since and how many stars. Idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front it of the was? tower, okay? So three star being the best response for each character. Uh, All right, we need to just talk to this guy. And we're done. See you around. <laughs> Crap, I'm gonna be so late. Now we gotta go check out the arms dealer. Huh. All right, we'll talk to Tifa. Uh, we love Tifa. Morning. Morning. Oh yeah. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. We kind of had a, a tiff the night before. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Hmm. The place I made that promise yeah. to you. The place I made that promise to you. That was you a remember test. The dress I wore? It was one that of was my a favorites. Tifa test. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. Like, yeah, okay. Maybe this is the cloud I know. Back again. What can I do you for? Nothing. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, now it's time to climb the clock tower. But you can also go talk to uh, Barrett. And I think you can Over talk here. to Red again. And get uh, their relationship up a bit, too. Let's get started then, shall we? Oh, I guess it wasn't really a point <laughs> to get in rid of the camera there. All right, slow down. Just body check that man. So bright. I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. This away. All right, now we can get rid of the camera. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. What a view. It's just white. So, <laughs> did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. She's so nosy. We're roommates, you know. The early parts of this game, she is... Did she say something? She seems, Not like, kind of jealous. Two. No. Still, I can tell. And like as the game progresses, she kind of like to have a friend when I was growing grows up. a little farther away from Cloud Don't take romantically. Her <laughs> Maybe jealous was the wrong word, but something along those lines. Attack helicopter! Red's like, I ain't going back. No! 80. 
This was also something that wasn't really addressed in the OG game. Like, as soon as you leave Midgar, it kind of seemed like they just stopped pursuing you. Unless I'm just remembering the, the original game wrong, but... It seemed like they just gave up the chase as soon as you left Midgar. I kind of like this little added Gotta be. scene. Time to skedaddle. Look at Aerith. You know what? Screw the stairs. Shoot! Uh oh, ankle socks. Gen Z's canceling you. Ah, uh, there you are. Time to fight. There isn't much time. We need to get back to the inn. Time to sneak. Don't worry about your friends. They're safe. Trust me. Thanks, pal. No violence, please. This town suffered enough. What actually happened to this town? I don't know if it actually on. elaborates on that. Follow me. Help from a local. Not here. Well, we know we'll take them out. Hey, you. Don't shoot that lady. He's really helping it. He could be a soldier. It's okay. I'm on your side. I got a contact at HQ. You were with Avalanche? Not exactly. Stop. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. Over the top. Over the top. Once we're again, we are stuck with units. slow walking. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Now that you mention it, I think I might have. Though perhaps it These helicopters are terrible. Or was it? Oh, uh, get out of here! Wait, wait. I know I saw some people who had a fugitive air about them. If only I could remember their faces. Annoy someone else. Stop wasting our time. Look at all the little details. So beautiful. Turn up yet? No, but we're still searching buildings. We'll search harder. We gotta find them. So cozy. Hey. Also, so dangerous. <laughs> that went well. No hand railing or anything up there. Not much further. Let's stay on your toes. Safety. Butchered them and put them in the basement. The tunnel in the basement will take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. <laughs> Head to the east. Definitely looks like Friend a trap. Runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Also, take this. It's Why would he think finger. I needed this? Converts raw materials into more practical items. I guess they probably had a hard time, but it still works. Figuring out another way of adding this into the game, story-wise. Out of it than me.
Definitely something new for Rebirth. Wasn't a part of the OG game at all. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. <laughs> yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history. He just likes the around. adrenaline rush he's getting right now. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change, or he's my just mind, good guy, Broden. Better get going. You uh, sick or something? Hey, gang. Oh, you made it all in one piece. Heck yeah. Sorry, we're late. She misses me. For the love of where the hell have you two been? On a date. Hey. Kind of. We're just looking at stuff. Uh, well, that was the last one. At least till things come. From my understanding, down. Cloud's got like three personalities. He's got Zack, Sephiroth, and then his OG self. And I think Aerith is in love with the Zack part of Cloud. Tifa's in love with the the Cloud now, part of Cloud. Move. And then Sephiroth is just trying to kill everybody. <clears throat> right up, guys. Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. <laughs> Good work. Wait for them. Might as well grab this. I do like how they changed up the chests in Rebirth, though. Got some wooden ones. There's some Shinra ones still. Alright, this is when the game first introduces the open world. You ready for a flashbang? Just I hold this for a minute. Wow. Oh, green. So beautiful. Just look at it all. I am. So green. I think I said that. A living, breathing planet. Even after everything we've done to it. Poor sheltered Aerith. Strong. It may look that way. And in comes Buzzkill. In reality, it's barely hanging on. Me too, Red. Me Guess too. I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. <laughs> left, you like, left, uh, you left, nah. Right. Hope we didn't get anyone killed back there. I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. I think it literally takes like two seconds before you can go back there. Let's go. <laughs> and there it was. The first step on our new journey. You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Right? Follow me. I see a little concerned Red wasn't going to continue with them. All right. Let's get this show on the road, people. He likes him. Wow, what a beautiful open world. Anyways, let's quick travel.
So much for all that beautiful green. No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Junon. Sure. Why not? You'd trust these rotting hulks? Nope. <laughs> I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you soon. Women love past poetry. Nothing, if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> Dorks. Well, can we rent some birds? Can we? <laughs> Cloud's like, wait, why am I the leader? <laughs> Avalanche was Barrett's idea. And once again, quick travel to Bill's. Well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Hey, it's that guy. Oh. Fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to calm. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. And the guy? I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Billy! Wait, the other guy's hey, Billy, isn't what it? What can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right <laughs> they place. They might be sacrificed to a snake, Back but... in the day, we had Republic fairies to get us from A to B. But now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies... You're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Breasts. Uh... Would you believe that their fluffy feathers or give feathers. them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Uh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing. To a hard-working chocobo. Nature's what a salesman. Limousine. So, can we rent some? Nope. Sure can. Oh. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. Bill He'll and Billy. Out. Get old Billy. What's up, Chadley? I'm not talking to you. Oh, Billy. Howdy. Howdy! Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops. Pops. Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken <laughs> for. That or they're not fit for riding. This kid must but be doing pretty good for himself. I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. The thing is, be selling them for don't that have price. That kind of money, or any really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh, is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. He's like, oh yeah, these guys so are broke. One of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but Put still a chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. <laughs> and he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet. Weird that he calls him Pops, because I'm pretty Chocobos sure Class be supposed to be like 21 but if you in this. Play it cool and creep up real quiet like, you'll wrangle him no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. 
This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you free of charge as long as you buy stuff. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. <sighs> All right. I don't know why I do this. I just habit, I guess. <laughs> I don't need any of these. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Why, yes. Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Hey, it's a big city. We don't um, know everybody. Not very well, oh. but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was... Thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. Talk about Sam often. Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. This ranch looks oh. way better than... Chocobo Take Sam's place, by the way. You can give them to Pico when you find him. He just had a few they carts. Always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell. Could even stuff, buy huh? anything from him. Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for Chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. <laughs> I ain't spending any money here. <laughs> Stupid child. All right, I'm out of here. Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. If you ever want to chase, can I fast travel back to Pico? I think I have to go to this. Your chocobo's gear. Feel free to use the stable just right. over there. Where'd you run off? You mean Pico? Let's try looking for some tracks. Pico, Pico. All right, no, no more quick traveling. We gotta follow the tracks. Yep, right there. I believe you had to do this in the OG game as well, too. The world map had chocobo tracks around. And then you throw out some greens. Pretty similar. Bingo. You didn't have to do this stealth. Yeah! Come on, y'all. Let's go bag us a chocobo. Keep it in my sick armor on my chocobo. You're on the hunt. You don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not Cloud, here to the kill teacher. him, right? Yeah. All right. Time for some chocobo wrangling. I think I'm good. I got a rock. So we'll get to the edge here. Throw the rock right past him. And while he's distracted, we're gonna jump on his ass. Yeehaw! Chocobo wrangled. Eat up, buddy. Aw, isn't he just the cutest? <laughs> no, he's badass. Look at that armor. You know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> Wonder if there's any armor that will clip with their faces in that little scene there. What does he want now? More food. Do you think maybe he's still hungry? 
sorry. That's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. <gasps> oh. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. All right, this time we can quick travel. Beat that chocobo. Hey, Billy. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here, you just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a running. So, who here's never been on chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Ay ay ay. Billy runs like an idiot. You run like a douche. Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you Chocobo mind Sam. all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Holler! Holler! Okay! But how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Alright. We'll do this again. It's weird. They have this racing here. But then they have different chocobo racing with different controls. Later in the game. Oops. This is probably the the shortest, most boring mini game in the game. Mini game in the game. That was something else. You and Pico are a perfect match. Might even have what it I takes know. to win a race or two at the Gold Saucer. I know. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? I know. Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. They Though, didn't don't take long. Just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she wants a crown she of hasn't flowers. Been herself since mom left, they did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. Not really. True. But moving on costs money. Damn it. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. Uh, you know what? I'm already rich. Ah, here's a Shinra one. All right. Let's ride. Oh, sorry about the computer. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch so, of exploring. Sure this is safe. Heard you can do this area as well. Plus, there's that giant man eating no side Those quests, sure I don't think, over here. Have some faith in our feathered friends. Just some looting. I think one of Barrett's weapons is over here too. I think this is the first weapon you can find. Over there. Sephiroth. It's Sephiroth. <gasps> what? Come on. She's like that. <laughs> that don't look like Sephiroth. I think this 
his Barrett's whipping. I like how there's no follow up to it. Like Cloud's like, oh. I don't see Sephiroth. Do you? Wait, maybe no. there's a follow up to it. I don't. <laughs> Apologize, Cloud. All right. On our way to the Midgar Sormer. Oh, wait. Before we do this. Uh, okay, we need to set up our team. So we want Barrett uh, and Aerith in the team. And we want to make uh, Barrett the party leader. I'll go over the rest of the strategy in a sec. We got cutscenes. Is that dry land I see? Let's go. Watch out for snakes. Snake what Island. Yep, they I definitely can outrun right the Midsummer or Midsummer. It disguised itself as an island. Gee, I had no focus. All right, it is the Midgar Sormer battle. So, basic strat: we're starting off with Barrett as our uh, main main dude. Um, Cloud, you're gonna want to use his haste to speed up your your party, uh, and then you want to build stagger with Barrett. So he's gonna be using his overcharge. He's gonna be using lifesaver, and he's gonna be using. Uh, What's the other one? Bonus round. Bonus round to increase stagger. Uh, and then once he's staggered, we want Cloud to do uh, Infinity's End for big damage. Uh, and then we're going to want to use Cloud or Aerith. Probably leaning towards Aerith a bit more as our bait to get swallowed by the snake. Uh, our linked uh, Materia to fire is gonna hopefully protect us from the flame attacks. And that is basically the strategy. So let's give it a shot. So it's my turn? All right, already have to give Cloud a nice cure here. All right, Barrett, we want to rock bonus round. Start cracking that dough. Careful, this thing's already pissed off enough. Now we got two gauges built up. We're gonna do focus shot to the dome. Cloud's gonna rock haste. All right, he's about it's to coming. swallow someone, I think. Move. Boom, he grabbed Aerith. Right. Now we switch back to Barret. Start cranking out some attacks on that freaking skull of his. Uh, grab some focus shot again. There we go. That's phase one done already, I think. We didn't even lose Aerith. Usually he swallows up Aerith. All right, I think we want to back up a bit. Everyone, keep your distance. All right, Cloud, you need a heal here. We're gonna use his Cura, and then we're gonna use Aerith's Cura as well. Build up their synergy. So we want. To increase our limit one. Uh, right. Nice and pressured. Oh, I never cast life lifesaver. 
We want to do that too. Suck on this. Kiss my ass. Overcharge and focus shot. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, Cloud is gonna rock a Kyrega on Barret. Another focus shot to the dome. Switching to Aerith. Sorry, Aerith. Oh wait, I think we're good actually. Let's try to build up. I think she has some Blizzaga. So we're gonna rock that. Hit the dome. Switch to Cloud for the stagger. Get Infinity End. Ready. Boom. Barret can rock. Another focus shot to the dome. All right, phase three. Fire tornadoes. Synergy abilities increase you rank? our unlimited MP. It's coming. Move. Oh shit. Don't overdo it. Did I just lose Barrett? No, I lost Barrett. This is not good. No, we just lost Barrett. I've got you. I got this. We might. Oh, we need two for Odin. Oh, wait, he brought Bear back. Sick. Cloud, I'm gonna need a cure here quickly on Bear. Overcharge. Uh, we need lifesaver again. We've got max HP now. All right, we're going to rock another synergy ability, I guess. Oh, I need two more. Or actually, we can do this. While they're doing that, Cloud needs to increase this. And hit a haste. Double time. Keep it together. Oh, Barret with uh, another focus shot. And we need to get our bonus rounds back. And that should stagger it. Push the cloud. Punisher mode and is defeated. Is it gone? whole fight uh i think you avoid in the og game i i think you can attempt to fight him but i think it's too overpowered at this point in the game but after you do cross you do get to see the fate of this snake i, I think i like the rebirth version a little better
What's that? Uh oh. Memory stuff. All right. If you look at Sephiroth here, like he, he's supposed to be underwater, but if you look at him, he's not really being affected by the water. Like his hair and his clothing, like they look like he's just has the a light breeze brushing his clothes. Whereas later, when you look at Cloud, little arrow magic. Bam! That's definitely how the snake dies in the OG. But yeah, like, look at him. He's not, it's not like he's underwater right now. But then when you look at Cloud, he definitely looks like he's underwater. So I think this was like the first instant where uh, Sephiroth possessed Cloud's body. So I don't think Sephiroth actually killed the snake there and it was Sephiroth controlling Cloud that killed the snake. Could just be a reach or an overanalyze. Mission on my part. You remember who I am? Well, I think it makes sense. There is. Oh, it's good to have you back, Cloud. Hey. Who do you think actually fished him out of the water, though? Sephiroth? I knew he was strong, but still. Did I do that? Or maybe one of those guys. Those guys are looking for him, too. They've got to be. Yeah. I kind of get that feeling as well. Because Sephiroth only possesses Let's not lose the him. soldiers. Woohoo! Uh, all right. What are we doing now? I can't remember. I thought that was the end of chapter two, but that was kind of short. In we go. Chapter three. All right, He's we'll just here, watch this cutscene, I guess. I don't know. Well, monsters sure are. Monsters. No doubt. Monsters we can handle. We've dealt with worse. Yeah, did That's you see that snake you out there? Say. You fought the worst for a living. Not us, though. Yeah, good boy. You mind taking the lead, Merc? For 2,000. <laughs> nice callback. Enough for her see if you liked it. Course, twice, right? Her Shut weapon? up, Aerith. Ask him. Cloud? She's trying to uh, separate us. Forget it. You guys need to focus. Wasn't all that long ago that this place was a working mithril mine. All right. All that is the end of right. chapter two. Hmm. Not so specific. that no. will be the end of this it's video. Pretty tough. I'll let them talk. Besides, right on yeah, yeah, yeah. Counts. But what you might not realize is just how rare it is. Never been found outside of these caves, in fact. And I ought to know. Cool. Worked in Mithril. The myself back in the day. Mithril's in like every single Final Fantasy, Fantasy game. Should we pick up a few souvenirs then? Mm, it's could, a Tolkien. Pretty sure it's a Tolkien it. invention. Shinra's been churning out stuff made with more durable alloys for years now. Even got that signature Mithril sheen and everything. Probably refined with materia too. Look at you, Mr. Shinra expert. All right, let's stop talking. <laughs> All right, that is it for a chapter two of our all story, no filler playthrough. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, do all that stuff you do on YouTube and keep your eyes peeled for chapter three. And uh, hopefully you've already watched chapter one, but if you haven't already, check that out too. Anyways, thanks for watching. You guys rock. Mean it. Bye.